his first letter to Timothy, Paul says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority, so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives, marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Saviour, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. In 1988, I took Kelly and Sean to England for the first time. One of the things we wanted to do was visit the Commonwealth War Graves Commission Cemetery at Brookwood in Surrey, where Kelly's great uncle is buried. I was stricken on that occasion, as I was three years ago when Ian and I visited the American Cemetery at Omaha Beach in Normandy, by the sheer number of people who gave their lives in the two world wars and the countless others who have died with alarming regularity in armed conflicts the world over in the almost 100 years since the war to end all war. In 2002, Kenny Martin also visited a Commonwealth War Graves Commission cemetery and shortly thereafter wrote a poem entitled, I Do Not Know Your Name. I quote now from the last stanza of that poem. For far too many, no long life ahead, free of struggle and pain and the gun. And we must remember the price that was paid by each and every one. Regardless of views, opinions aside, no matter how each of us sees it, they were there and I cannot forget, even though I did not live it. I do not know your name, but I know you died. I do not know where you came from, but I know you died. And from my, boy, from my time in the Boy Scouts on parade to, a Cove to Coventry Cathedral on Remembrance Day, to my years in the Royal Air Force Cadets as a teenager, to annual Remembrance Day services in the com communities I have lived, each November 11th stirs within me a deep sense of gratitude to those who suffered and sacrificed in ways I simply cannot imagine. And I suppose that is why I'm, I am most grateful, because I cannot even imagine. I close this brief re reflection with the more familiar words of the poem For the Fallen, written by Lawrence Binion on September 1914. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old, Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. As the scripture points out, it has always been the duty and privilege of the Christian church to pray for kings and all those in authority. This weekend at Solid Rock and at whatever other churches people may worship at, we remember those whose lives have been cut short by armed conflict the world over, and we commit again to prayer that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness.